sunshine when she's gone And she's always gone too long Anytime she goes away Hey, hey, you're at the beach with Tanya. I'm so excited. It is bright and early in the morning, 7.30, and I am already doing Rise and Shine many hours ago, and I know what you're thinking. Are you really wearing those earrings at the beach? Yes, I really am. And I'm going to go down to the beach today, and I'm going to build a sandcastle, and right now I'm just swinging on this swing, and I was just coming to you because I was thinking about... Um, First of all, it's a big shout out to my bestest friend Jackie for letting me stay in her place. It's so cute down here at the beach. And this is like a whole little beach um, community uh, called Ocean Lakes at Myrtle Beach. And it's all these houses and people are so friendly. And then there's a golf cart and my teenage son is driving that. Like, And Jackie, I told him to be careful. He, he really is driving safely. So um, I just wanted to say about some pitfalls people have on this lifestyle. First of all, they try to make it too dang complicated. You know, back off of the dried fruits, the dehydrated treats, all those things. Realize that those are things, you know, to eat occasionally or as you're transitioning to more whole, fresh, ripe fruits and vegetables, you know. Um, because the more dehydrated food you eat, the more water you need. And I don't, that's another thing. I don't think people are drinking the amount of water they need to, to, um, balance out that dried fruit and especially if they're doing like um like oat groats and they're like sprouting these things and then dehydrating them and and it's really it can be like a gut bomb and then they don't understand why why they don't feel vibrant they don't wake up you know wanting to jump out of the bed um you know another thing there about the nuts so many nuts and nuts and dried fruit together is a combo Personally, I just, I don't do it. I just can't feel, feel vibrant and like, you know, when I'm eating just whole, fresh, ripe fruits and vegetables that are water rich is the key. I feel like if you think about it, you cut open a really juicy nectarine and how it looks inside. That's how I picture myself, like, like a piece of ripe, juicy fruit, you know? <laughs> So, I, you know, that's what I try to keep in mind, water-rich fruits and vegetables. Um, you know, and we should remember that it's a guilt-free diet. We need to remember to eat a lot of those foods, the water-rich fruits and vegetables, so that we are feeling hydrated, we're feeling satisfied, we're not feeling like um, we're having to, to, to go around deprived you know I never feel deprived on this lifestyle I always feel satisfied I always feel full I feel like I live the life of abundance through it you know um, you know we need to let go of the concept of restricting how much we eat again yesterday somebody talking about me promoting eating disorders absolutely not I eat at least 3,000 calories a day Every dang day, I never calorie restrict. I can eat any man under the table any day, and I do. So, um, you know, the reason I show, like, okay, I can wear my skinny pants or is because I came from weighing over 210 pounds, and a lot of times, people that, these autoimmune disorders the, and the major death contributors in this world, let's just say like diabetes, heart disease, all these things derive from being overweight. So, you know, how many people in the population are really dying from anorexia versus dying from overweight health issues? I mean, I think we need to look at the reality of that. Uh, so, I, I would never ever promote calorie restricting um, or restricting your food consumption, you know. I just eat whole, ripe, fresh fruits and vegetables. I eat plants, you know. Plants do a body good. <laughs> so, um, let's just try to, you know, kind of ease up on the gourmet raw. Like, as you're transitioning, that's really a good thing to have. And it's a good thing to have, like, um, like your treats and your dried fruit and all those kind of things but as we progress if you want to feel better and better and you want to raise your frequency I think that the water rich fruits and vegetables are the key to that so I wanted to just bring you out to the beach and 
maybe I'll, I'll film down at the beach in a little bit, but um, I just want to come to you with a few little pitfalls of, of um, raw food lifestyle. So I'll be uh, moseying on down to the beach now, so I'll see y'all later. Bye.